Hey guys, what's going on? Decided to do an update collection video. This is going to be my 3DS slash Vita collection. Now why both in one video? Because I don't have a lot of physical Vita games. A lot of my Vita games are digital, but I'm just going over physical physical 3DS games and physical Vita games. I got like literally three here. And these boxes are also my um, collector's editions for certain games as well. Um, we'll start with the 3DS first and then go for the Vita. Um, actually, first I'm going to show off my systems. Um, I own one system of each, and I, I don't collect the actual system, different systems. I just have one that I use. Um, this is my 3DS XL. It has a um, Acronym Time 3D decal on it that I got off of Amazon. I also equipped it with a uh, wrist strap. These are actually from... I believe they're from PlayStation Move controllers, but yeah. And then um, on the back too, it's actually pretty sweet. This is the blue and black 3DS XL, but like I said, it has a uh, you know that decal on it, which is actually pretty sweet. But yeah, um, but that's that. And then we got here is my PS Vita. This is the first generation. Um, that's actually actually the white one, the white one that was bundled with Assassin's Creed. I did not get the bundle. I just got this refurbished. Um, I have not had a problem with it. It's pretty awesome. Um, this decal on it is from the Muramasa Collector's Edition. And it also has the, um, the um, wrist strap as well that I put on it from the Move Controller. Um, that's just my, my uh, screen and whatnot. But yeah. But yeah. Um, really happy with those two systems. Probably not going to change anytime soon. So let's get into the 3DS games. They're all alphabetical. Animal Crossing New Leaf. This is probably the game that I put the most time into. Well over 100 hours, 200 hours, something like that. I'm um, still playing it to this day. Actually, I took a break from it and just got recently back into it. But, um, like I said, it's really addictive. It just seems like the most dumbest, simplest concept, but it's so much fun and so addictive. <clears throat> Br Bravely Default, Flying Fairy. I know in America it's just called Bravely Default. Um, I don't know why they got rid of the subtitle, but um, it, this really harkens back to those old school um, RPGs that were on the Super Nintendo and all that, classic Squaresoft. To be honest, I haven't played this yet. Um, I also have the collector's edition here. Um, I think I unboxed this um, a while back, so go on my channel if you wanted to see that. But yeah, it comes with um, the game, the soundtrack, and a jewel case, art book, AR cards, um, and this nice little, I love the presentation on this, this is really, really nice. Um, but as for the game itself, like I said, I haven't actually gotten around to playing it yet. Unfortunately, I had the demo. Um, I just haven't been in a very JRPG mood lately, so. But from what I've seen, it looks really good. Um, Brain Age, concentration training. Never was too big on the Brain Age games for the DS. Decided to grab this, this was like, I think, five or ten bucks. Um, when I bought it, it was on clearance, and... Um, this is actually a lot more fun. It's, I mean, it's still educational, but it's not as much as the other games. It's more like concentration. Um, it's, it's really fun. Um, Cave Story 3D with the uh, lenticular slipcover. Um, not much to say about it. Haven't beaten it. It's okay. I'm not the craziest about Cave Story like other people, but it's, it's okay. Code of Princess. This is also um, like little limited edition box. Comes with the um, uh, CD and art book inside. Um, all right, action RPG. Didn't play much of it. Crosswords Plus. Yes, once again, I got this for a couple bucks, um, and it's really, really addictive. Um, I like word searches and crosswords and things like that. So um, when I'm in the mood for that, plug this game in. Cubic Ninja. It's an alright game. It came out earlier in the 3DS's lifespan. Um, I think I got this for a couple bucks off Amazon just to get shipping on something. So I wouldn't really recommend it for like anywhere above like five or ten bucks. <clears throat> it uses the um, the gyro of the 3DS pretty pretty uniquely though. Dead or Alive Dimensions, probably the best fighting game you can find currently on the 3DS. Um, I prefer this over Street Fighter. 
Um, I know Tekken was on the 3DS, but from what I hear, it doesn't have as much modes or options as something like this. Um, and then the Blaze Blue that was on the 3DS was a terrible port. Um, but yeah, this just has, this goes through the story mode of all, uh, the first four Dead or Alive games, as well as a huge roster, online, different modes, figurines to collect, just lots of good stuff. I put in a lot of, um, time into this game. And that's what the online is great. I haven't played the online in a while, but it, it was good. Donkey, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Um, this got kind of mixed from what I heard when it came out, because a lot of people were like, uh, why they, you know, it's not as good as the Wii one. Personally, I prefer playing this on the 3DS, just because the fact is I like using the directional pad, um, to move, and then I like the extra levels and some of the extra items, so. Really good, and it's got a price up to 30 bucks, so. Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop Distance, as well as I got the, whoop, I got the Mark of Master Edition here, um, which comes with... Uh, it comes with art cards, um, protector case, the game itself, and AR cards. So, really, really cool here. Um, honestly, the best Kingdom Hearts game since 2, and it's it's leading into the Kingdom Hearts 3, which is going to be coming out in the next couple of years for PS4 and Xbox One, so that's exciting. Kid Icarus Uprising, the little box of it as well that comes with AR cards and um, the 3DS stand, which I tried using. Not my thing um honestly though kid Cross uprising is the 3ds game in my opinion it is the game that defines the 3ds uses all the features quite well um and like it's just it's just an amazing game it's great to see pit back after all these years probably my favorite game of the 3ds it's between this and um link between worlds but this is absolutely fantastic. Um, if, if you can find this, if you don't have not played this yet, go out and play it. Yes, the control scheme is a little bit weird, but once you get used to it, it's perfect. It's just, just this is a really really good game, really good really good uh, gameplay. Lots to do, online story mode and everything. And um, it plays the, some of the some of the um, menus and stuff is a lot like Brawl. Kirby Triple Deluxe. This is the game that I've been playing um, a lot lately. Um, I'm close to 100%ing it. Um, but it's kind of like, um, the st actual story mode is a lot like Kirby Returns to Dreamland on the Wii, as well as the actual, like, way the game is set up is a lot like Kirby Superstar, where you have multiple games and you can unlock more games and everything like that. Uh, the first three you have, I believe, is the, um, the, um, Kirby Fighters, uh, D2D, Drum Dash, and the actual story mode. Then you unlock more, you unlock the arenas, you unlock, um, um, uh, DDD, DDD's Journey or something like that. Um, the one where you play through the game is King DDD, and um, there's then there's the True Arena, etc., etc. And there's keychains to collect, and um, there's all sorts, all sorts of stuff to do in this game. And probably one of the best Kirby games, probably the best Kirby handheld game thus far. Um, really, really enjoyed this. Like I said, I put a lot of time into it recently. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Um, I know um, people are mixed on this but in my opinion it's better than the original game um i know a lot of people prefer some of the stuff in the original game but i just think it's longer has more content more stuff to do and it's just more fun i mean the original game is a classic on the gamecube don't get me wrong but this is a good game i'm actually i'm actually on the last mission i gotta go and fight king boo but other than that i've uh i've played through the game it's really really fun <clears throat> mario and luigi dream team um I love the Mario and Luigi series, I do. Um, I haven't beaten this yet. In fact, a friend of mine is actually borrowing this. But from what I've played, I've played a couple hours into it. Um, I've played after Bowser shows up. Um, but it takes a lot to get used to. Like the dream abilities and just there's so, a lot more dialogue in this game than there is in the other games. Um, but once you get past all that, it's pretty fun. Not sure if it's as good as Bowser's Inside Story yet. Mario Golf World Tour. <clears throat> Another game I've played a bit lately. I got this the same day that uh, I think, think this and Kirby came out the same day. But um, really good game. Um, if you like arcadey golf games, um, not not professional golf games, but like arcadey ones, um, this is really good. Lots of customization options, um, DLC as well, and it's only thirty bucks. So expansive uh, career mode. Too. Mario Kart Seven, <clears throat> um, probably the best Mario Kart game until 8 came out. It's still up in the air. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I really like 7. 
Um, but this was this was really good when it came out. I really I put a lot of hours, especially into the online in this one. And I'm not a very big online person, but the online in this one I put lots of hours into. I still go back and play every now and again. <clears throat> Mario Party Island Tour uh, came out November of last year, so almost almost a year ago. Um, but honestly, um, I'm not sure if it's as good as the one that was on the DS. Um, but it is it does do a lot of things differently. It follows more of Mario Party 9's approach. So um, it's it, it's good. I'm not sure if it's forty dollars good, but I don't know. I haven't played much of it. But there are a couple modes I don't care for, like the bullet bill mode. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I haven't played much of it. Um, it's Monster Hunter. And honestly I'm not the biggest fan of Monster Hunter like everyone else is. I like Monster Hunter, but it's not like the best thing ever. <clears throat> I also have it on the Wii U. Why I got both, I don't know. I kind of regret that now. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, this game actually gets a lot of hate, but I find it quite enjoyable. No, it's not the best Mario game, but it's still really, really enjoyable. And it does a lot of unique ideas. I love, I love the, uh, the just the coin mechanic and building up your coins and like the gold flowers and everything in here. It's really good. Plus, it was the first um, Mario game, and I think I'm thinking it might have been the first Nintendo game to have official official paid DLC, so. <clears throat> Paper Mario Sticker Star. <laughs> Quite honestly, this is probably my least favorite game in my collection. The only reason I don't even sell this game is because it's a Mario game and first-party Nintendo game, and I like to have it in my collection just for that purpose, collecting purposes. I haven't beaten yet, but I really don't like this game. Uh, coming from a fan of Paper Mario who's played since the first game, who's played since Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo, as a matter of fact. I've played Mario RPGs since then, and this game is just <laughs> terrible. Like, it's so... <sighs> the battle system is just, just way too simple. It's like they went back to the original style, but then took out the RPG elements. No leveling up, no experience, no actual st like stat increases or customizability besides stickers. It's all about these stickers. And so they made the battle system simple and kind of pointless, but then again, they made the the actual levels and the level design really confusing and very, very archaic. Like, we're talking about, like, Castlevania 2, like, like, level of cryptic. It's just, like, it's, it's, it's just, there's a lot of problems with this game. And then the fact that it has, like, very generic enemies, all the cool characters that you met in the other Paper Mario, in the other Paper Mario games are gone. Bowser doesn't even talk, which is weird. It's just, well, it's just... I, I think it's terrible. <laughs> I'd go with Mario and Luigi instead if you want a Mario RPG. Pilot Wings Resort, one of the launch games on the 3DS. And honestly, really, really good. I got this from a friend for, I think, like 20 bucks. Um, and it, it's really, really good. Um, I would have paid 40 for it. I think it's that good. A lot of people think differently, but I don't know. I like it. <clears throat> I like those relaxing games with the Miis. Okay, so I gotta show both of these off at the same time. We got Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. <clears throat> I, I personally um, lean more towards Y, and that's the one I've beaten. X I have yet to beat yet, actually, but I've played um, a bit of it. <clears throat> but I've put Pokemon Y is probably the second game I put the most time into after uh, Animal Crossing. But um, in my opinion, these games, like honestly, are really mixed. Like they got like a they got for the first time ever in Pokemon's history, they got a very mixed reaction compared to like Black and White. Like Black and White, everyone loved Diamond and Pearl, everyone loved. But like these games just there's a there's actually quite a few people that that hate these games for some reason i don't understand why um to me they're the definitive pokemon games until uh the ruby and sapphire remakes come out in november um but i i really enjoy this and i can't um i can't wait for the um the remakes um the only thing i can say about these games that i dislike is the fact is um I think they went really lazy on the 3D effect in this game, and I don't use 3D for this game because of the fact that they really screwed it up. They, they basically screwed it up. They no 3D in the overworld. The battle system uses 3D terribly, and it lags like crazy. Um, just not good. And I know a lot of people don't care about that, but me, I actually like 3D on the 3DS. Um, <clears throat> so I like to see a nice 3D effect. Um, not all games need it, but I would have liked to have seen Pokemon in 3D. Done right. Ridge Racer 3D. I, I got this. Um, got this from a, from a friend. Um, I don't. I don't know if I paid for it. If I got it for free, but it's just it's Ridge Racer. <laughs> Not much else you can say about that. Samurai Warriors Chronicles. Um, 
it's Samurai Warriors. Not much else you can say. Um, it's, it, I mean, it's pretty cool. There's um, lots of stuff to do in this game, but um, it sucks. We there's a second one that came out. And now there's a third one that just got announced, but they have yet to come out in North America. We only got the first one, so. <clears throat> Sonic Lost World. Um, Lost World got a lot of hate. I personally love Lost World, but unless you're a diehard Sonic fan, I would say you get this on the Wii U. I mean, this one isn't bad, but it's very, at least for me, because I own, I own both versions, I played this, when I, when I was playing this, I was wishing I was playing the Wii U version. It's just more simplified and not as fun, but it's still alright. Star Fox 64 3D, really, really good remake of Star Fox 64. Classic, classic game. Um, just good stuff. <clears throat> Steel Diver. Um, this game, another launch game for the 3DS. Um, it got a lot of hate, and a lot of people just look look it over, but I, I actually really like this game. It's really unique. Yes, it's generic in, in its theme, but the actual gameplay is really unique and really fun. It takes a little bit to get used to, but it's really, really fun. Um, uses the 3DS features quite well, um, like the gyroscope and the touchscreen. A lot of it's used really well. Um, and it's a Miyamoto game. And uh, Miyamoto uh, knows the stuff, and I really uh, like that he brought this out. I probably wouldn't pay full price 40 bucks for this, but literally you can find this anywhere for dirt cheap now. Like, I think GameStop sells these new for like 3 bucks now, literally. So I got mine for free when I bought my 3DS XL. But still, you can get it for dirt cheap. And for three bucks, like a GameStop, you know, why not? Why not give it a try? Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition. This is the launch game that I believe everyone, like most people, picked up at launch. Um, me personally, um, like I didn't get a 3D as a launch. I got it um, right after the, the price dropped. But I still went and got this for cheap off Amazon, like less than 20 bucks. And, um,. I don't know, not my cup of tea. I'm more for 3D fighters like Dead or Alive and Tekken and Soul Calibur. Outside of like um, Smash Bros. And PlayStation also. Super Mario 3D Land. Um, probably one of the best Mario games to come out in recent years. I personally love this game. I've 100%ed it as well. Um, got all the all the star coins, all levels 100% with both Mario and Luigi. Um, yeah, this is this is really fun. This is, in my opinion, probably the definitive Mario game on the system. <clears throat> Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Um, I probably this or Kid Icarus is a toss up between my favorite 3DS game. This was awesome. It harkens back to Link Between led to a Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. It's a sequel to it, takes place um, in that same world. Um, it just it's it's really good. If you've been a long time Zelda fan like I have, this is a real treat. And it does things a little bit differently, especially with the items and there's a lot more freedom in this game than there has been in recent Zelda games. <clears throat> Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, my first 3DS game that I actually got. Um, honestly, it's Ocarina of Time. There's not much else to say about it. What can you say about it? It's it's amazing. It's just it's Ocarina of Time. Um, <laughs> and yeah, you can't say much more than that. It's, in my opinion... Okay, I can say something about this game. The thing is, I think this is a definitive version. A lot of people complained that they changed up some of the art style with the graphics and stuff. Me, personally, that's how it was intended to look in the first place. They just couldn't make it like that because of the limitations of the Nintendo 64 at the time. So, I personally am probably never going to pick it up on the consoles again because I prefer this version. But a lot of people say otherwise. But, hey, we all have our opinions. Tamadachi Life. Um, I was really excited for this game when it was announced to come out to North America. It looked really quirky and fun. Um, then I got it when it came out, and well, I got it like a week or two after it came out, and then I was like, it was really fun and quirky at first for about a week, and I just got bored of it. I know this game became really popular, a lot of people loved it, but I just got bored with it. I went back to Animal Crossing. <clears throat> Yoshi's New Island, one of the other platformers to come out um, this year. Um, it's alright, I think it gets a lot of undeserved hate, but... If you're looking for the definitive platform on the 3DS currently this year, I would say uh, go with Kirby. But Yoshi New Island still isn't uh, isn't uh, one to look over. It's really, really good. Now for my Vita games. Like I guess I got three physical ones. We have Muramasa Rebirth, and I have the Collector's Edition for that. This is the Blessing of Amitabha Collector's Edition, which comes with the decal... Um, yeah, the, yeah, the face cover, skin, velvet pouch, uh, spe uh, specially designed lithograph, and the abridged uh, soundtrack. Um, 
I love Muramasa when it came out on the Wii, and I love this one even more because it just it's it looks crisper on the on the Vita with the um, with the OLED screen. Um, it has um, it it has trophies now. Um, there's DLC as well. There's four different DL three of the four DLC story modes are currently out, and they're each they're each five bucks. I got the first one so far. I actually actually just beat the first one the other day, so I'm probably gonna download the next one soon. But um, so yeah, lots of new stuff with this. Um, but, oh yeah, and, and then there's a new, uh, translation, because a lot of people complain on the Wii one that the actual, um, the localization of it, on it was really lazy and very, like, abridged, but this one flushes out the story a lot more with the localization of it, so, um, if you, com if you didn't like that on the Wii, you'll be, uh, more excited for this version then, but, uh, this is the first Vita game I picked up, and, um, really, really, really good stuff. And we got uh, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace, as well as the the um, limited edition with this as well. Um, I got this like I want to say a couple weeks after it came out. Um, this is by Xseed. Xseed usually does a lot of their games like this, which is really really nice. I love Xseed for that. Um, but it comes with the soundtrack CD um, with 25 uh, musical selections. But um, really really nice game. Um, if you played any Ragnarok before, um, pretty much like that on a on a console. Um, this is the Ace version. The, this game did come up before, um, just called Ragnarok Odyssey on the Vita, but I waited and they made this version. This version is also on the PS3, but I decided to get it in the Vita just because I prefer games like this on a handheld. Uh, but honestly, really nice action RPG. Um, it's got good online as well. Um, lots of free DLC that they released for weeks. Um, I think they're still releasing DLC for it actually, but I'm not quite sure. But uh, really good. I actually put a, quite a bit of hours in this game. Last but not least, Tearaway. Um, really good platformer, really unique. It uses the Vita, Vita's features quite well. The back touchpad, the camera, um, lots of stuff. Um, lots, of, lots of good stuff here. I haven't beaten it yet, but um, really good. Uh, it's, all, it's also from the creators of uh, Little, Big, Little Big Planet. Uh, now, I'm not a big Little Big Planet person. I'm really not a fan of the franchise, but I do like this game. This game uh, is really, really good. So, I think it got really overlooked, especially since it came out on the same day. <clears throat> same day last year as um, Super Mario 3D World, uh, Mario Party uh, Island Tour, and Zelda a Link Between Worlds. So I think sandwiched between all those games, I think this game went really overlooked, plus the fact that it's on the Vita. But um, this, you know, this just goes to show that the Vita has some really unique, really good games on it that uh, you really can't find it anywhere else. Um, I mean, sure, it's not as big as the 3DS, no, but... The Vita is still not a system to, over, to overlook. It's really, really good. It's got some unique experiences like this. You really can't find a game like this anywhere else. And there we have it, guys. That was my uh, 3DS and Vita collection. Uh, let me know what you thought. You know, leave a comment, and uh, I'll check you guys later. Peace.